The situation in Israel and Gaza and the surrounding countries is often presented as a struggle between two religions and two faiths who are presented it as though they are two paradigms who are opposed to each other, that being, of course, Muslims and Jews. However, there is a third player who is oft, which is often forgotten, and that is the Christians. And in particular, I'd like to mention Palestinian Christians in this video. Now, a few days ago, a particular YouTube by the name of Simon Webb, who runs a channel called History Debunked, made a video about Christians in Israel. Now, I'm going to share it, and I'm going to turn the sound on here so we can hear him if need be, and hear another video. Now, you will notice underneath this, this video, Simon Webb has put the following description of his video. The Christian population of Israel is climbing steeply. Now, I don't generally try to reiterate people because I presume the people who listen to my videos are not idiots and don't need me to re re reiterate points again and again and again. However, in this one instance, I will do it. And you'll see why in a moment. The Christian population of Israel is climbing steeply. Bear that in mind. This is the article Webb used to make that claim. It's from December 2021. It's nearing three years old. And what it tells you is that Israel's Christian community grew by 1.4% in 2020. I would not call that rising steeply. Now, Webb tried to paint a rosy picture of how Palestinian Christians are treated. I offer this by way of reply. This is the funeral of Shireen Abu Akla, who was a Melkite Catholic journalist who died under controversial circumstances. And I'm going to play this video. Though this is a funeral, you can see the tension between Palestinian mourners and Israeli police. The coffin here of Shireen Abu Akla, the Al Jazeera journalist who was shot in the head while reporting in the West Bank city of Jenin on Wednesday. The Palestinian Authority and numerous colleagues and eyewitnesses have accused the Israelis of firing the fatal shot. But the Israeli Defense Force say there needs to be a thorough investigation to determine who killed her. As the procession began at the St. Joseph's Hospital in occupied East Jerusalem, I'm sure you'd all love that at the funeral of one of your loved ones. If you're... Israeli police armed with batons attacked mourners. Then as the violence escalates, the pallbearers almost drop her coffin. <laughs> mourners say this was an unprovoked attack when tensions were already high. Fatan Elwan is a close friend who was at the funeral. We just wanted to bury our friend. That's it. I don't understand. I don't imagine. I don't. I, I cannot even find the right way for what kind of humanity and international law is being violated, ethically violated, emotionally violated. Israel police said in a statement that officers had been working to ensure Shireen Abu Akhla's funeral went smoothly. Is, is smoothly in this case uh, in, defined as we batter the crap out of the mourners so a funeral can't really proceed, so it's smooth by its very non-existence. But they say riots broke out at the hospital plaza. I didn't see anyone writing there. I saw people carrying a, a coffin. That's it. I saw a load of police charging in with batons, baton charging, and baton charging pallbearers. It's a bit difficult to write if, you've, if you're carrying a coffin. Ever done, anyone who's ever been a pallbearer at a family a funeral or carry the coffin of a loved one will know you're not exactly in a position to do, do, become a rioter with one on your shoulders. They added stones and other objects were thrown and their officers acted to disperse what they called the rioters. They say six arrests were made. Some streets of occupied East Jerusalem fell silent as shops closed as a mark of respect for Shireen. But other streets were full of mourners and the rest of the funeral went ahead peacefully. She was there. Do those people look like they are rioting or do they look like they are mourning somebody who's died? That's up to you to decide, of course. But in reply to somebody like Mr. Webb, who claims that Christian populations in Israel are climbing steeply, 
by all of 1.4%, uh, a huge rise. I offer this video by way of reply. Let's watch the end of next to her parents at Mount Zion Protestant Cemetery. The UN Special Rapporteur has called this a potential war crime and asked for an independent and impartial investigation. And that's also what her friends, family and employer have asked for. They say there needs to be accountability. Sunday marks the anniversary of what Palestinians called the Nakba, or catastrophe, when they commemorate their displacement in 1948. It's often a flashpoint on the streets of Palestine, and there are fears that this coupled with anger over Abu Akla's killing could bring violence to the streets in the coming days. Let me stop sharing. No one would pretend for a moment that Hamas's crimes were not awful. No one would pretend that every Palestinian was an innocent little lamb either. But Webb has tried to present you with a viewpoint where Christians are growing steep. The Christian community is growing steeply. His own source show that it's not really true and that he's manipulated words and used an article that's three years out of date before the current issues there. And I offer a counterpoint with this video of Shireen Abakla's funeral to show there's another side to this story that Webb is not presenting.